Congressman Sander Levin has had a relationship with the Chaldean community for decades. I began to represent uh, parts of Oakland County where there was a substantial Chaldean population. That was in the mid-60s. Uh, in fact, I knew some of the clergy more than almost anybody in the Chaldean community because many people don't go back uh, 50 years. I've had the privilege of doing so. And um, also, I think there's a bonding uh, sense of strong community the way I grew up in the Jewish community, in the Chaldean community, and it was just so natural. He reminds me of Clark Kent from Superman because on the outside, he is very meek, humble, mild, but inside, he's very powerful. I don't know if you realize this. This man received his degree from the University of Chicago, one of the most prestigious universities in America. Then he received his master's from Columbia University that only takes the smartest people. Three, he got his law degree from Harvard Law School, which is regarded as the preeminent law school in America. There are very few people walking the face of the United States that can have those kinds of credentials. It is unbelievable, and yet here you have the, one of the most humble men you'll ever meet. Those superpowers went into play as soon as Congressman Levin heard about the Immigration and Customs Enforcement agents detaining Chaldeans to be deported. They came from families, and they reported regularly. They came here in most cases when they were kids. And as one of them said to me when I visited those who were at Youngstown, he said, I'm an American. And I just found it uh, unpardonable that people were picked up out of the blue and they had been here, constructive citizens. Some had, had uh, committed an offense in many cases long before. They paid the price. Very few of them were violent. They married, had kids. As, as far as we can determine of the 110 or so who were picked up, those who have children, every single one of the children is an American citizen. Ron Acho has known the Levin family for more than 40 years. They are our first family of public servants in Michigan. They have done so much for the people of Detroit, the people of Southeast Michigan, and, and the people of the whole state. Supported by other members of Congress, Levin filed an amicus brief with the Sixth Court of Appeals in support of the plaintiffs. The brief outlined several examples of detainee stories showing their long-standing ties to the U.S. and Michigan including the lead petitioner, Sam Hamama, whose wife was Congressman Levin's guest at the State of the Union address. Sam is among more than 100 Iraqi Christians from Michigan arrested and detained in 2017 by ICE. The Congressman's position on the issue and his years of support to the Chaldeans prompted the Chaldean Chamber of Commerce to offer this special recognition.